Hello, my name is Tyler Wright. Uh, I've been coming to the church for about six months, and I want to tell you a story about how God changed my life. My life before Christ, growing up, I, I grew up in an area that uh, it was uh, somewhere where violence was pretty typical and normal. Unfortunately, times were hard for us at, at a young age. At the time, there wasn't no room for me. My parents reached out to someone from the church that we trusted, and unfortunately, uh, she saw an opportunity to take advantage of me. It, it really did warp the way that I looked at, at love. It warped the way that I looked at people. I felt like I had to bury that burden as a young man, and that definitely changed my perspective on life. And the hurt was deep. It was deeper than I, I ever actually anticipated. It led me to a life of uh, promiscuity, to a life of, of sin. Uh, alcohol became a huge part of my life. It was almost a daily activity for me. That's what ended up leading me to join the military, serve my country. And it brought, it brought me the structure I needed, but it was just organized chaos. I was acting even more violent because I had money to do the things that I wanted to do, the freedom. Up until even as recent as uh, six months ago, I uh, caught another charge. I was coming out of the, the, the jail, uh, jail house and I, I got in the car where my daughter was. Something as simple as her telling me, Dad, you smell, you, you smell funny, just broke me into a thousand pieces. I realized that everyone but me could see how damaged I was. To have a four-year-old child look at you and know that you've done something really bad, I just, I seen all the things that I was showing her and that it wasn't right. And I, I felt like at that moment, God was talking through my daughter. It wasn't my daughter that was looking at me, it was God looking at me through my daughter. I saw everything that I needed to be and all in that moment, all the change that needed to happen. And I needed something bigger than myself to, to, to change that. I reached out to my mother. She was looking at plans, plans of action for me, a way to, to change my life and not only just change it, but solidify the change. I wasn't very receptive at first, but she was very convincing. So she made a call to my, uh, my cousin Maurice and uh, he started telling me about the home. When I first got in the home, it was difficult. I already had a distrust for people. So being surrounded by people made me feel even more hatred and more violence. It was um, a Sunday service, Pastor Joe was preaching. He said three words that I just couldn't get out of my head. He said, give it up. I feel like to everyone around me it was it was just three words, but to me it was there were life-changing words because I was giving up everything. I was giving up my my hurt, I was giving up my depression, I was giving up my pain. I gave everything and I, I walked up to the altar. They started praying for me and for the first time I, I broke down in tears, but they weren't tears of hurt, they were tears of relief. The joy that I knew he was gonna bring me wasn't for me, it was for my daughter, it was for my parents, it was for my family. And it was all in that moment that I, I just bared my soul to the Lord and, and he accepted it with open arms. And that's something only God can do. My heart has been made whole again. I feel peace, I feel love. The peace is it's just not a worldly peace, it's, it's a heavenly peace, it's a pure peace. I just have joy and it's, it's, not, it's not temporary, it's not fleeting, it's genuine, true happiness. If I had to, to tell you one thing, just surrender everything, no matter how big, no matter how small, because it may be small to you, but it, it means everything to the Lord and, and give everything to God, the big parts and the small parts. an incredible video. My name's Kurt and I'm here with my good friend Kubi. Hello everyone, my name is Kubi. Man, Kurt, what an amazing video. This shows what our church is really all about. And that cannot happen without all of us coming together and giving to the Lord generously. God loves a cheerful giver. That's right, Kurt, and that reminds me of a scripture. It says in Proverbs 22, 9, the generous will be blessed. And we know that God will bless us for being generous to others, but this word blessed means happy or fulfilled. This is why we give. And now we get an opportunity to bring our tithes and offerings unto the Lord. And we do that three ways here at the church. The first is the Wayworld Outreach app. We're easy, super simple on the phone. Click the give button. Follow the simple instructions, safe, secure way to give. You can even set up recurring giving. The second way is go to any web browser on a mobile device or a computer, type in theway.gives with an S, and there's a safe and secure way you can give there. And our third way to give is in person. And if you're in service today, you could do it at the giving kiosk here in the sanctuary or on the way out of the sanctuary. Another way to give in person is the Way Road Outreach Church office. You can come Monday through Friday, nine to five, and turn in your tithes or your offering to the front office. 
Now we're going to invite our worship team up for one final worship song. And that's going to give us an opportunity to worship the Lord in our giving. So right now you can go to a kiosk or you can get on the app and worship the Lord with your giving.